Hey guys, this is um, my short review about Windows 7 Final running on on an EPC 1000 each HE. I'm starting to boot right now, and this is for all you guys that think maybe changing the the operating system to Windows 7 from XP. The thing is that I'm considering my EPC is like a gadget, and that gadget has to be fancy though. Like why are people buying um, iPods or whatever, you know? They're buying it because they look nice. Same is with my EPC. So I want a modern operating system, preferably, that's running smooth. The thing is that maybe you're thinking, um, how is the performance? How can I get all the drivers for it? It's actually pretty easy because I I don't have like an external DVD drive or something like that. I just use an USB pen to install it. You can find a lot of document documentaries on on the internet how to do that. It's pretty easy. And the good thing is that I had no driver problems at all. Nothing was really a problem when I first installed it. It was like there are a couple of things that I need. I need an ACPI driver for using the function keys. That's working. I found um, a Windows 7 driver for that. No problem. So I can use the tray utility for direct access to all the functions. This is a German version, German localization of Windows 7 final. I got from um, the Academic, Academic Alliance that's actually released, I think, four weeks ago. So I'm running the system since I think like two weeks maybe because my old XP I wanted to change and I did that. So some things I want to use is like I said the function keys. I want to use the hybrid engine. I want to use the e-control utility for controlling the fan speed and the backlight because. Um, the standard maximum backlight is a little too low and I can boost that with the utility. It's pretty nice and working. I want to use the smart pad. Smart pad drivers I found on the internet are working. So I can use the multi-touch smart pad which is pretty nice. The only thing that's not so work well working like is the battery battery sign of Windows 7 but it was XP the, se the same. Doesn't actually it's not pretty accurate so I'm using another program battery bar really nice as you've seen that I arranged the, the desktop a little bit different because um, the thing that's always not enough on, on a netbook is like the vertical resolution so I just move the taskbar to the right so I have more space for browsing um, for those of you who don't know how Windows 7 is working you have like this task icons. It was the same like in XP, but you have like previews of of um, here yeah, for the Explorer that you of folders that you use the most. The same for the Internet Explorer. You can use pretty fine. Um, the thing was Windows Update was was um, recognizing the first time when I put it up that I'm using the Intel Express. Graphic, uh, graphic card and uh, it automatically up upload, uh, downloaded it and updated it so I have the, the newest version of the Intel graphics driver so this was no problem at all it's pre it's um, my personal opinion is that it's a little bit slower um, than Windows XP was of course it's like you know see you see the graphic it's much nicer and use more graphics so for comparing that um, you're using, uh, I am using this netbook for like browsing, playing some music maybe when I'm when I'm on the way to somewhere like train or whatever, plane. I can use it pretty well. It's it's good to use for presentations, for example. That's what I'm, what I'm using it a lot for. So I will, I'll show you just the maximum performance on Windows Seven. 
I don't know if you have if you have used it, so I'm using my in this case I'm using my 22 inch desktop monitor for connecting it and I will play like I will play let's say yeah that's what I was watching the last time I will play um, 70, 720p advanced video codec movie on that monitor on the external VGA port, VGA port which is working pretty well this is like the highest bit rate I could play it smoothly it's a little bit laggy this is like the bit rate is around 6000 um, VPS and it's it's like the highest 720p I found on the internet pretty nice movie a little bit laggy because I haven't boosted it to super perform if I'm boosting a little bit the CPU power yeah well maybe too laggy when I was watching it I didn't recognize it that much a little bit too laggy maybe anyway I'm using it for playing a lot of TV series, watching TV series on the net that's fine watching I don't know some videos of my movie collection pretty nice it's all working very fine so I, I never regretted to, to switching to Windows 7 the thing is of course that the netbook is actually pretty cheap so um, if you're thinking about paying I don't know how much you have to pay like 80 bucks 90 bucks for the new system it's a little bit too much if you're considering like the price of 350 bucks for the netbook doesn't make too much sense maybe but um, yeah like I, I got it for cheap for, for free and so um, there was no reason to, to switch back to Windows XP. I lost my, my, my hidden drive, like the XP recovery on that way, but yeah, I don't need it anymore. Yeah, so like to sum it up, it's pretty nice system, running smoothly for like all the things you want to do with a netbook. And uh, if you can, switch to Windows 7.